the data slicer app can be used to slice or reduce data on a graph by applying filters. Let's start by right clicking on the app icon and selecting show samples folder. The app ships with a few sample projects. Let me drag and drop the world population example. This data comes from the Gapminder project. The worksheet has several columns of categorical and numeric data and there is a multi-layer graph with some of the quantities plotted. With the graph active, let's open the Data Slicer app. There are two panels in this app. The left panel displays columns on which filters can be applied. By default, only columns that are not plotted are displayed. There is a button on the top that can be used to display all columns. Let's choose the continent column. You can see that the categories from that column are picked up and the right panel automatically recognizes the information as categorical. I can quickly apply a filter, for example, looking at only countries in Asia. When you apply a filter, you will notice that a green bar is visible on the left side of the column name and the filter is of course applied on the worksheet. There are a few controls on the column name row itself. There is a pause button to temporarily disable the filter. You can click the enable filter button to enable it again and you can click the remove filter to completely remove the filter. There is also a button above the panel to remove all filters in case you have applied multiple filters. Let's now go to the country column and select a few countries. For example, China, India, and the United States. The data is reduced accordingly. Let's now go to the year column this column has been previously set in the worksheet as an integer column. So let me go ahead and apply a less than filter, a numeric filter. You will notice that a slider is provided to control the cutoff and you can watch the graph here life expectancy versus GDP. The life expectancy is pretty low at low GDPs around the year 1955 for India and China. And as you move the slider further to the right, as the years roll by, you see that the GDP is growing and along with it, the life expectancy grows and then it levels off after a certain um, level of the GDP per capita. The data, the dialog is not modal, so you can move around in your project and choose other graphs. Let's look at another example. Another sample that shipped with the app is an air quality data sample from US EPA. This is a 3D plot, a 3D scatter plot, where the Maps Online app has been used to place a map image of the continental United States at the bottom layer of this 3D graph. Here again, there are several columns and uh, let me choose the parameter name column and on the right side it's identified as categorical. There are a few controls on top of the uh, panel for categorical and one of them is to sort the categories by frequency, how frequently the categorical um, information is present in the data. What is displayed here is observation counts versus longitude and latitude. So if I sort by descending so that the most frequent observations are at the top, I can then select a particular observation such as ozone. You see that observations from ozone are pretty widespread across all states. Let me turn that off and perhaps go down to some other uh, parameters such as sulfur. You will see that the counts are not that dense and are only available in some states. Play with this app with your data. 
and please come back to the website and rate it and send your comments. We are always looking for your comments to further improve our apps. Thank you for watching.